Here we go then. So it's eight key questions that any property investor should ask a property sourcer. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, and these are some of the, you know, the key questions we get asked all the time. So Adam, will one big maintenance problem swallow up all of my profits? Um, go on. It's never happened to me, but has it ever happened to you? I'm asking you the question. What do you mean? Well, no, yeah, I just thought, thought yeah. I'd flip it back on you. You've got a yeah. sizable portfolio. Has it happened to you? Yes, it's happened to me. We've got to talk about how much of your rental profit. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a couple of months, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It can happen. Yes. Um, when talking about property sourcing, some things to be aware of. So yes, it's a risk. It can be there. How do I view it? Let's have a think. So I'm thinking about a yeah, big boiler breakdown, a, a, a roofing leak that turns into a whole roof that needs changing. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, when it's a big cost, I view it as a, and it is, it's a, it's a capital cost. You know, I've got a new boiler. How long is that going to last? 10 years. Mm -hmm. So let's say it was a £3,000 boiler and I had to you know, swap out some of the bits and bobs. 3000 divided by 12 months, divided by 10 years. I can't even do the maths, sure. but yeah, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Okay, it might be a big chunk of money right now, but it's a long-term capital cost. Same with the roof. Sometimes the works you do can be tied in with other works and the cost comes up. You've got an increase in value houses. I've seen Adam many, many times come up against a maintenance issue that then, you know, on by choice, we expanded, did the whole renovation, more work and yeah. then put the value of the house up. I think th so yes, it this can, is it can a, really, happen. a really important question. And when you're, sourcing. when you're sourcing a house, if it looks really like it's in really nice condition mm. and everything's, yep. everything, you, you, could, you could deem it as buying it would be mortgageable from the, the point of purchase. Could you have something crop up? Yeah, if you've not sourced it properly, if you've not checked everything out. I like the ones where we do the renovation because you're future-proofing against True. the majority of all the major problems you could get. I think even if you're buying something that on the face of it doesn't require any attention and you can just move a tenant straight in, yeah. build in a contingency anyway for some, some maintenance on that house because you're I not the those. person and you are you didn't manage any of the renovation on it. You're just buying a house that someone else has renovated. We get or those. Listing. We get clients who we are sourcing properties for helpfully going on right move and going what about this one what about this one and of course we've always seen them you know we see the properties before they hit right move often but we've seen them but from a picture you can say that looks like a bargain property the pictures don't look too bad it would only need a few hundred pounds worth of renovation and you go a few thousand pounds of the renovation and our sourcing team go into the property yeah you find out it needs fifteen thousand pounds worth of renovation just you, you tot it all up it's yeah. things that are hidden so doing the full-on renovation to start off with avoids that but if you don't, you know, let's say you do do almost a full-on renovation, but you don't change the boiler, of course, the boiler could break. Do have a buffer. Make sure that you're not going to get financially stressed. You've got to have some money sat in the background. I used to do that. I used to, I can't remember the actual number, but I think it was three months worth of rent or maybe more that I used to leave in the bank. I can't remember because I don't do it anymore. The key thing that you need to remember as a landlord or want to be in a landlord is voids, bad debts and maintenance. Any accountant should be able to tell you you don't want them to be running at much more than, well, any more than 20%. Ours, mine personally, is just about 16%. Voids, bad debts and maintenance. Maintenance is in there. So really, it's got to be a totally manageable. When we talk about our 360 mm. wheel, the success plan, that number would be in there. It'd be turned over and you'd, you'd look at it and go, yeah, that's too too high or uh, that's, that, that's on average. If you get that one big bill, of course, you average it out. A 10-year warranty on a boiler means it's 12 months divided by 10 years. Buy a cup of coffee every month. Bye for now. Cheers.